Hello there. Did you know Nigeria has over 200 million people and 48% of this population live in rural communities, according to World Bank? Of the population that live in rural communities, another research shows that 80% cannot afford three meals in a day. This shows that many people live in extreme poverty. However, there is something I find interesting about rural communities. These are the resources that they have that they are not aware of, and hence they treat it as waste. These resources, if sustainably used and utilized, can transform their unique identities. But the challenge is that most of these communities are not aware of the value of what they are and what they have. This is where I work precisely. I am Tony Joy from Nigeria, and I help Nigerian rural communities understand the value of what they have and who they are. In one sentence, I implement sustainability in the context of rural development. I help communities focus on what they do best, what they produce best, and what natural resources they have around them. And in doing this, they generate income and regain their unique identity. Who says the rural community cannot be hubs for innovation and development in environmental sustainability, health care, education, or economic development. This is what I do. I am creating hubs for sustaining rural identity while providing the knowledge and skills that is needed to be relevant in the global market. I see resources, I see the resources they have and what they can make out of it. Concretely, I train women from local rural communities in Akure through my organization Durian to create value from what is available around them and connect them to the right market. Most rural communities in Nigeria have agri-waste. One community could have cocoa pod husk in large quantities while another could have, let's say, palm kernel shells. Through community entrance, which, engage, which entails engaging community leaders and stakeholders and conversations and discussions about the organization and what we do and the possibilities that we see in the community, I identify the different kinds of local resources available in the community. Once I identify this, I look out for people who have the experience in the field and understand the value of what can be made out of this given resource and waste. When I identify the possibilities and try a pilot to see how it works, I gradually then introduce the community to the idea. For example, when I entered Imafon community, I realized that they have a lot of cocoa pot husk and I did some research and discovered that it could be used to make body soaps. I then introduced the women in the community to the idea and offered to show them how to do it. Gradually, we got women who are willing to learn. Now, it is one of the things that the women in our facility are known for.